if you have a template or form that you reuse on a regular basis, uh, you can save a lot of time for yourself and for others by turning it into a fillable PDF form. Acrobat 10 Pro makes that pretty easy to do. Uh, to do it, we're going to use this sample rental agreement as a demonstration. We're going to click on the Tools menu. Under Tools, you want to make sure you're under Forms, and you're going to click on the Create button. And the Create button is going to automatically run through this sample agreement, and it's going to try to identify areas where there should be a fillable field. Click Create, make sure we're using the current document. It's quite quick, and it's going to leave you in edit mode, so you can go in and make some changes and verify that everything turned out correctly. And we'll see it's put in proper fields for the most part, name and address and phone number. There will be some that are incorrect, however. Uh, down at the bottom of the page, uh, it's correctly identified for signature fields, but it's incorrectly labeled the date fields as signatures as well. Uh, we'll want to change that because otherwise the end user will have a hard time actually entering a date using uh, Acrobat on their computer. So I'm just going to right click on these and click delete. And now I'll need to replace them with a new field. To do that I just go to the right side under add new field and select text field. I'll get a preview of what that field's going to look like. I just position it where I want it and click my mouse to place the field. Now I wanted to give it a good name, so we'll call this Landlord One Date. And I can adjust the size and shape of that text field to fit my form. I would obviously repeat this with each of these four fields. I can preview it to make sure it looks okay by clicking the preview button. And we'll get a quick demonstration so we can click each of these fields and try to enter information, just like that. Now if I decided that I wanted to make sure that they could only enter a date in this field, I can do that by setting up format for that field. So I'm going to click back to the edit mode, and I'm going to right click on this field and go to properties. Now under format, I want to select a format category of date and choose the date format that I like, and close. Now if I go back to the preview form and say the person entered January, when they tried to move off of this field, they'd get an error message telling them that it was an invalid date, invalid date and time. So I'll just click OK and we'll re-enter now. And that date will work. We can also edit multiple fields at the same time. Uh, in this case, uh, it's incorrectly put in a blank text field for each of these different utility options. Uh, in reality that's not what we'd want because the uh, the form assumes that either the landlord or the tenant or the municipality will be responsible for each one of these. Leaving a blank field just creates an opportunity for confusion. So I'm going to select all of these by dragging a box around them. Then I'll right click on any one of them and select delete. And we'll see the blank version of the field here now. What I'm going to place in here instead is a radio button. Uh, a checkbox allows the user to select multiple options. A radio button is used when you really only want them to pick one of several options. So I'm going to click radio button. And again, I can position this wherever it fits. We'll give it a choice name. And we'll give it a group name. So we might call this electricity. Now I have the option right here at the bottom to add another button. Uh, you'll want to do that with a radio field because you'll need at least two buttons for each radio uh, group. So I'll click add another button, place that one. We'll call this tenant. And you'll notice it's still in the proper group name of electricity. I'll repeat that a third time. call this Muni. Now once I'm done, I've got my fields placed, but they don't look quite right. Uh, I'm going to select and resize one of these. I'm going to hold down the shift key to make sure it stays a perfect circle and position that where I want it. Now I, with this one selected, I'm going to drag a box around all three. And now if I right click on this one, I have the option to align 
and to set fields to the same size. So I'm going to select both and you'll notice that they're all now the same size. I'll right click again and say that I want to align them by top. And they're now perfectly aligned. If I go into preview, we'll now see that under electricity we have three radio buttons and the user can select any one of these options but not more than one. There's considerably more that you can do with the, uh, the form fields. You can actually use it to collect information and have it entered directly into a spreadsheet. Uh, you can go through and customize each of these tab fields. This is the name. And if I click on each of these names, it'll move me through the document. Uh, you can put these in a proper order so that when the user presses the tab button, it'll automatically move them from one field to the next. And you may want to go through and put those in a proper order so that it's going to work uh, in a useful manner for your end user. Uh, there's also other tasks, various other options you have. It's a sophisticated tool, but the simple functionality uh, is really quite easy to use, and it, it's really nothing more than clicking on that Create tool and then going through and making a few changes to make sure that your fillable form is correct. Uh, when you're done, you just save the, the fillable form, and you can send it on to uh, your users to enter in their information.